Hi there, Chris here with Dr. Jamie Antoine, Select Health of the Twin Cities Clinic and SimplyNutrients.com. And today we're going to be talking about natural treatments for Helicobacter pylori infections. So if you're watching this video, you're probably suffering from H. pylori, or you know someone who is, and if so, I'm really sorry, is it's a miserable feeling. H. pylori infects about 44% of the world's population. Many people don't have symptoms because it stays within a healthy, balanced range. But for those that experience an overgrowth, it is no fun. Um, H. pylori are smart little bacteria, and they're very hard to kill because they burrow inside the mucus of the stomach lining, and they actually use chemicals like ammonia and others as a shield. So that shields them from the stomach acid, which would normally kill them. So they're very hard to get rid of. If you're not sure if you have H. pylori, please talk to your healthcare professional. There is multiple ways to test for it, including a blood test, a stool test, and a breath test, all of which can make sure you actually have H. pylori and not another similar GI or gut disease that would have similar symptoms. If you're not sure or you want more information, uh, check out our definitive guide that I'll link to in the comments for more information. When treating H. pylori, you really have two ways to go about it. The, the first way is with antibiotics and proton pump inhibitors. And proton pump inhibitors are just a big word, big series of words to say, we're reducing the stomach acid. So instead of taking a bunch of antacids all the time, we're using a medication that will reduce the acid for a longer period of time. So the approach here is one or more courses of antibiotics once that stomach acid is lowered to try to completely clear out H. pylori. The challenge with this approach is there can be harsh side effects is you're not just killing H. pylori, but you're killing a lot of good gut bacteria and throwing your microbiome out of balance because those harsh antibiotics are really clean in house in addition to the H. pylori. Um, the second method we're gonna talk about today is using a natural method to remove excess H. pylori and bringing your gut back in balance. Again, if you remember 44% of the world has H. pylori and very few people as a percentage of that group are exhibiting symptoms. So it's very possible to keep H. pylori in balance. What's causing the symptoms is really the overgrowth of H. pylori in your system and it running around wild. To bring H. pylori back into balance, our spotlight today is on a product called Pylogard from Microbiome Labs. You may have heard of them before. They pioneered gut health in a lot of different aspects, especially with spore-based probiotics like Megasporebiotic. So how does Pylogard work? Um, Pylogard is a postbiotic that gently removes the overgrowth of H. pylori in the stomach and intestinal lining. It does this by using a patented version of Lactobacillus ruteri. It's basically a specialized bacteria strain that goes into your digestive system and velcros itself to any H. pylori it finds. Once it does that, the body recognizes that as waste and takes it out of the body you know, via your stool. So before we go any further, I said it was a postbiotic. You may wonder, well, what is that? And how do they help? Um, postbiotics are byproducts of prebiotics and probiotics. There are enough P words in there. So healthy postbiotics can include all sorts of nutrients like vitamin B, K, amino acids, and substances called antimicrobial peptides. So the antimicrobial peptides are what works to kill the H. pylori and get the bacteria out. So again, it Velcros to it, binds to it, and then your body excretes it and gets it out of there. So how do we know this works? Um, I always encourage you, please do your own research. Um, I'm gonna link to multiple studies below in the description that you can read and see what they've found in those studies with PyloGuard and how it's been able to help H. pylori. Please also talk to your healthcare practitioner. Please don't take any supplements without talking to your healthcare practitioner to make sure that they're right for you. Um, a common question that we get is, timing is everything. How long does it take for this to work? It depends on your body and how bad the infection is with H. pylori. Uh, the manufacturer recommends being on PyloGuard for at least two months. It doesn't mean you won't feel better before the end of two months. It just means that in order to get all that back in balance, usually it takes two months on average. Um, anytime you have bacteria die off, it's important to remember that you may feel bad. You know, you've got a lot more waste in the system. And so a lot of times I'd suggest a binder such as Mega IgG 2000. Um, it's an immunoglobulin based binder. Immunoglobulins are natural to your body. I'll link to more information on those below as well. But that binder will help bind to a lot of this die off and other toxins in your body that are non-metallic and help escort them out. 
So that's a great way to really cleanse as you're getting your H. pylori back in balance. So we've had some positive reports from quite a few patients on this one using Pylo Garden. So if you're looking for a way to tackle H. pylori naturally um, without blasting your body with antibiotics, um, it certainly may be worth a try. So again, please talk with your healthcare practitioner about that. So I hope you found this video helpful. Again, I'll put more links and more information down in the description. Please don't forget to hit subscribe and the bell icon, and we'll look forward to more videos next time.